How's it going everybody? This is Bang Bang Bo. So basically, I have for you guys three NUX that I 3D printed. And um, I'm just gonna be doing a quick review and kind of like what I did. So I just blended together um, on Tinkercad. There is a, it's all open source. Um, <clears throat> a NUC, and then I meshed it together with a bottle opener. So it actually, all right, I should go grab a bottle for you guys. All right, I'll grab a bottle for you guys. Be right back. So I grabbed a freaking beer and it's a twist off. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, everybody, uh, I came back with an actual pry off beer. So it's, ve it's very early in the day to be drinking, but oh, come on, focus. All right, there we go. God damn, I'm winded from coming up the stairs, Jesus. All right, so I'm just gonna check. Yeah. So this guy right here, um, he's made out of Tech G, Tolomon Tech G, and it's very strong plastic. Uh, semi-flexible -fle and very strong. These guys are just made out of blue PLA. Um, I know that this one opens. It is hard to open the beers, like, because it's just, or whatever drink. Um, because, like, it's just, you don't really have a lot of, like, leverage on it, but it works. Okay, so I know this one works. I'll be testing it uh, for the first time with the PLA, and I have two here. I mean, if it doesn't work, I switch to ABS or Tolman again. But um, the purpose of these is so that you can put them on the keychain, and when you hold them, and I could reverse um, this. I mean, I know you you may say you can just do that, but the reason why I'd have to reverse it is because it's easier to print these without supports. They come out cleaner. So you would just flip it in the 3D model and print it out that way. Um, yeah, but I'll be testing it. You can, I'll try to put it on a keychain for you guys, see how it fits. Um, but these hold really well. Um, they don't really hurt to hold, especially when you squeeze them. Uh, and this one has, it may be hard to see, it's thicker right here. I do that because in my head, I'm like, all right, it might need some more support uh, than this one. You can see a little bit, it's a little thicker. Um, this one, of course, is slightly more comfortable to hold but I don't know, you might not like it that loose. So anyway, um, I'll get into testing it and I'll just put it on like a normal, well, this isn't normal, but it's like a little, one of those keychains. So, okay, that fits. Kind of gets stuck there, the hole's not big enough. Maybe I could just make it one big hole, but then you would lose the support of this finger if you uh, made one big hole there, but I don't know. And with the keychain, you go like like that, you could still hold it nice, so it works. So that's nice. All right, and um, I'm just gonna take this off now. I'll do it on like a normal keychain kind of thing. It's a smaller looped one, so it might even be less convenient, although this one I'll say is easier to like loop it through because it's such a thin little keychain. All right, so that's that. If you wanted to carry it with you, I think like for, for women uh, or men, I mean, it would be nice to have. And <laughs> you wouldn't want to punch someone with these keys in the middle of your hand, but actually it's not too bad. And yep, you can still use it. So that's pretty cool actually. Um, and the cool thing about this is like, I'll look at NUX and I mean like the really cheap ones you could get for 10 bucks, but like these, I could still make a profit shipping them in an envelope for like a dollar. You know what I mean? But I, I think I might just release them open source because I, I really like the idea of people having a useful tool that they can defend themselves with. Anyway, um, I guess I'll throw them up on Thingiverse maybe. They might get taken down and then you guys could privately request um, you know, for the files, and, and I'll just give them to you. Um, of course, misusing the bottle opener, uh, I'm not responsible or liable for anything that happens. That's your choice to misuse it. Um, I'm gonna try to pry this off right here. I'm gonna sit down for this, I'm actually standing. Well, I'll put it like that so you can see. So, there's like that hook, latches in, 
and then you pry it off that way. So I'm gonna do that now. And hopefully the PLA works because PLA prints really easily, but we'll see. Hopefully this doesn't explode all over my thing. Oh, I hear it. So if you hold it kind of like, like that, and then pry it off. So let's see. Okay. I'll rotate it a little. Okay, the piece is still, oh, the piece is still holding together pretty well. Like the little corner part. It's not really chipping off. I'll keep going. Again, guys, this is, it's not, it's not really made for opening bottles that well, but. Okay, I'm gonna take it off camera and hold it. Just keeping it on the table is not really working. Excuse those fucking gross sounds that I was making, <laughs> but it works. So um, that's really cool. And uh, I'm, I'm excited that it works and I'm excited that PLA works because you can just print these out for super cheap. Everyone has PLA. You can print them in a bunch of different colors. Just give me credit for it. I'm gonna give credit for those uh, models that I used uh, also. But yeah, this is super cool. I'm super happy that it works. Um, and make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you wanna see more things like this and go ahead and leave uh, suggestions in the comments or share it with your friends. And I'll be happy to bring you guys more content. Cheers.